This is why Kamala Harris should not win the election. Not why she won't win the election, not why Trump should win, but why Kamala Harris should absolutely not win. Kamala Harris does not have a platform. That is number one. She has nothing that she stands for. She stands for anything that she thinks you want her to stand for. That means that you're not voting for what you want. You're really the only reason that you can vote for her is because you don't like Donald Trump. That's not a good reason to vote for her. But I've got some reasons that you shouldn't vote for her. Some very serious ones. Did you know that in California, Kamala Harris, when she was the uh, district attorney, I think of San Francisco, but uh, when she was a prosecutor in California, Kamala Harris locked up parents for truant children. Now, the problem with this is she did it indiscriminately. It did not matter what your circumstances were. There are parents that had severely disabled children who were thrown in prison because their children were disabled and missed too many days of school. They had medical exceptions with the schools themselves. They, they were exempt from coming in because they didn't come in very often because they had severe disabilities. And if you have a severe disability, <laughs> that makes it difficult for you to move around at all um, and that puts you in significant amounts of pain and such. Um, yeah, you get the idea. And this was mostly poor mothers because, you know, poverty and crime and gangs and difficulty with transportation, you, you can kind of see the problem with this. So it was mostly the poor that suffered under this system. Um, so Kamala Harris locked up mostly poor, um, oftentimes minority, uh, usually women, for their children not going to school, even if, the, even if they were disabled. And there is no shortage of material about this out there. She thought it was funny. She has laughed about this on multiple occasions and bragged about this as if it's some sort of accomplishment, despite the fact that what she did was ruled unconstitutional. If you elect Kamala Harris to be president, you're electing someone who did something that she knew damn well was a violation of people's rights, that was a violation of the Constitution, and she chose to do it anyway. Speaking of violations of the Constitution, when someone serves out their criminal sentence, this is for all the people who support criminal, um, like bail reform or criminal justice reform, which yes, I support some degree of criminal justice reform as well. I don't think that we should just let everybody roam freely, but I don't think we should lock people up for 20 years for stealing a gallon of milk or something. So I get that. But if you care about uh, criminal justice reform, you can't vote for her either. Why is that? Because if you vote for Kamala Harris, then what you're voting for is a woman who intentionally kept, I mean, she went out of her way to make sure that people who had finished their sentences and were supposed to be released were legally required to be released from prison or jail or whatever. She held them as long as she could past their sentences so that they could continue to be forced to do labor for the state of California so that they could continue to, in some way, benefit the state using the only existing legal slave labor system in the United States. You know, prison labor. Call someone a felon, uh, shovel them through a justice system that declares people guilty by default, despite, you know, <laughs> people will throw people in jail just because, because, hey, <laughs> I don't want to risk it. You know, throw people in jail, throw away the key, uh, and make them make license plates for 50 cents an hour. You know, minimum wage? What minimum wage? Oh, minimum wage doesn't apply if, if you commit a crime. Yeah, no, if you do labor, you're not entitled to any money for that labor. Screw you, you know? Uh, so if you support criminal justice reform, <laughs> yeah, you, you probably shouldn't be voting for Kamala Harris, um, especially considering that she's the vice president of the guy who was behind... <laughs> the big crime bills in the 90s that put black people in jail over uh, minor drug offenses um, that made possessing crack much more serious than possessing marijuana. Um, you, you get the idea. Pretty much everything around this woman seems to be tailored to lock black men up uh, or poor moms up. Um, pretty much put as many people in jail as possible it doesn't matter if they've not done anything wrong. It doesn't matter if their offense isn't as bad as, um, as it's made out to be. Just lock them all up. But hey, you know what? Lefties like criminal justice reform? Vote for Kamala Harris if you want the opposite.
apparently. Oh, um, you know that border? You know the, the okay, let, let's wind back. Do you like money? Do you like housing? Do you like not paying $2,000 a month for a studio apartment? Do you like being able to get your groceries for $100 instead of $300 or $100 for $200, whatever? Do you like not paying a lot for groceries and not paying a lot for goods and not paying a lot for housing? Well, guess what? The borders are the actually appointed to that position, Kamala Harris, it has not prevented and has in fact encouraged and supported bringing tons and tons of should-be illegals using the refugee system as a loophole into the United States to gobble up housing, which drives the prices through the roof, causes people who already live there to get kicked out. We're, we're talking, see, this is the thing. This stuff that the, that, oh, the evil, mean, nasty, scummy Republicans support, right? All, all this stuff that, that those bad people support. Well, the problem is it affects you potentially more than the big bad Republicans that support it. Because if you really think about it, if you have a ton of people flooding into this country, unskilled economic migrants that come to your town, they'll live eight to a house. So the the landlord will kick you out for innovations, and this has happened in numerous places. This is not just one place. This has happened all across the country kick you out for renovations, and those renovations are so that they can bring eight people in and charge each one of them $1,000 a month or whatever, which by the way, in a lot of cases, the government's paying for using money printer go burr, which means inflation, which means your grocery store prices go up. You are indirectly paying for these people's housing and food and $5,000 a month EBT benefits, whatever. You are paying for it through your grocery store prices, through your rent, you know, inflation affects everyone. It also affects your savings. If you have 10 grand and the price of everything doubles, you effectively have five grand because that 10 grand can only buy five grand worth of stuff. So I'm not saying that you should support Trump, but I'm saying that you shouldn't support Kamala Harris. And that's the bottom line.